Hi, my name is Brian Hedstrom. I'm a senior architect at Cable Labs. I'm also a technical editor within the Metro Ethernet Forum and a co-chair in the marketing committee on the management team. Today I'm going to be talking about carrier Ethernet service management and I'd like to start off with defining what it is. You may have heard of the term OAM or Operations Administration Maintenance. Service management does encompass this function. However, service management is a much broader, uh, broader uh, process and includes the processes that support build services and how they are managed, integrated, and supported. The back office of the service provider touching every attribute of carrier Ethernet is encompassed in service management. Why is this essential, you might wonder? It provides the tools that enable automated provisioning, monitoring, and fault isolation required to meet customer SLAs. These tools accelerate deployment of a truly integrated, scalable, interconnected, and cost-effective service. One of the core aspects behind the architecture of service management within the MEF is the, the carrier Ethernet information model. It identifies the objects and properties, including attributes, notifications, and actions needed for management of carrier Ethernet. The management information model is defined within the MEF 7.1 specification and is currently being updated to MEF 7.2 to add additional service attributes. The data models are derived from the management information model and include SNMP MIBs and NetConf Yang modules and have been completed for service OAM. The data models are implementable within the carry Ethernet equipment and the back office tools. I'm now showing a flow chart for the service lifecycle. It starts with a new customer order coming in where we start provisioning the service end to end. We have new work in the MEF doing uh, 7.2 information modeling and service MIB development to enable interoperable provisioning of the service. When the service is configured, we move into uh, turnip testing or service activation testing. And this is where we do uh, testing to ensure that configuration and performance monitoring uh, performance is met end to end for the quality of that service and that the SLA can be met. We have new um, projects within the MEF uh, being de uh, developing technology for service, act service activation testing, protocols, PDUs, and latching loopback. When the testing is completed and the service is meeting the SLA, the service is moved in service and, and deployed to the customer. At this point, we do SOEM PM and performance monitoring to gauge the health of that service on a 24 by 7 by 365 assessment to make sure that that, ser that service is uh, continually meeting the SLA and the customer is happy. If the service starts to degrade or faults are encountered, we move into box number three, fault management. This is where we start engaging the SOEM FM tool set to identify the problem, isolate the problem, and correct the problem. We may need to move back into box one and engage some of those uh, service activation testing tools, latching loop back, to do more diagnostic and troubleshooting. Once the problem is finalized, corrected, we move back into box two to do the, the health, proactive health assessment of the, of the service. In summary, management is a key component of CE 2.0. It's a must for upcoming uh, dynamic and elastic services like cloud-based MEF services. Uh, the MEF goals that we have include automated, integrated, simple to use, on-demand carry Ethernet. Service providers should incorporate new MEF service management processes to achieve service scalability and cost-effective deployment. I thank you for your time today. I'm Brian Hedstrom. If you need more information on this topic, you can visit the MEF website at www.metroethernetforum.org. Thank you.